Good Wednesday evening and welcome back. As expected, clouds are now increasing from the west here in Fargo, but making for a beautiful sky as we're headed towards sunset in under an hour. 701 sunset time tonight down to 68 degrees today or at this time rather wind is much lighter after a breezy day out of the west at seven miles per hour 64 in Moorhead 61 in Grand Forks a bit more overcast but looking quiet and relatively comfortable for that pep rally wind is out of the west at six miles per hour Devil's Lake some rain cooled air dropping the temperature down to 52 59 in Langdon and Halleck Thief River Falls as well 57 by debt 55 in Bemidji still seeing clearest skies in northwestern Minnesota. Here's a look at that cloud cover continuing to move in from the west with some rain showers. Not seeing much in the way of thunder at this time. We did see some move through Devil's Lake to a couple strikes right there uh, through Eddy County and a few more along I-94 out to the west, but few and far between. Just expecting some scattered showers and a couple rumbles through the rest of tonight as this cold front continues to advance and bring us these scattered showers. The wind goes a little lighter over the next couple of hours as the front continues to slide on through tonight. But once it passes overnight and into tomorrow morning, we're going to see the wind pick up. Tomorrow's going to be the windiest day of the week. It's been a breezy week, but tomorrow the winds will be out of the northwest, gusting 35 to 40, possibly even higher miles per hour, along with cool temperatures only in the 50s and scattered showers as well. As the low pressure system is up to the north, sliding to the east, we'll see some wraparound showers continue to advance with that. Then heading into Thursday night, this all drops to the south. And with that strong northwesterly wind, it's pulling in some colder Canadian air. We are still seeing signs for some snow to mix in with the rain overnight Thursday and into Friday morning. Good news, still not expecting any impacts, not expecting it to accumulate. The ground is still far too warm and surface temperatures will be quite warm as well. So melting on impact, not creating any uh, impacts for you for your morning commute on Friday. Just something to dodge for your drive. Temperatures through the day Friday, along with a few scattered showers and wind, going to be even cooler in the 40s and 50s. A freeze watch in effect Thursday night into Friday morning for parts of the Devil's Lake Basin, where temperatures are expected to be around 28 to 32 degrees. Temperatures as low as 25 degrees out in western North Dakota. But turning ahead to more of a widespread forecast, frost freeze is looking more widespread for most areas into Saturday morning. So we've gone ahead and called that first alert weather day. Temperatures will be in the 30s for most. Some may dip as low as the upper 20s, but we warm back up. Chilly still Sunday morning before a little bit more sunshine and temperatures in the 60s return for next week. We're not going full into deep fall yet. We're just kind of getting a little taste of it. Just a little sample and then we'll put it away in the in the drawer for now. <laughs> for a little while. Yeah. Still ahead on Valley News Live at 6. It's been 19 years since the Minnesota Twins won a playoff baseball game until last night when the streak was broken. We'll hear from excited fans in just two minutes.